I mean, it's one thing being having a feature film, but what is it like watching your father in a way that people have never seen before uh, on a screen 50 years later? <laughs> well, he's, uh, you know, I don't know about watching my father, but what, because, you know, I grew up with him, right? And, and, <laughs> yep, that, there's dad. dad. Yeah, <laughs> he's just my dad. But, but what, I like about, what I like about this film is it shows in, in, an, in high definition, which is really unusual for that time frame, just exactly what happened. And it, and it, and it gives it to you uneditorialized, you know, just here, here it was. You know, here's the stuff. And it really, I think you really the right appreciate stuff, it. As yeah. it were. Well, I, I think, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, NASA just did such an incredible job. And you can see that. And you think, wow, that was 50 years ago. We didn't have, com you know, we didn't have the computers, a personal computer. We didn't have so the internet. We didn't have so many things, but yet we are able to accomplish this, you know, sort of amazing achievement. Exactly. It opens tomorrow at the Science Center in IMAX, but it opens at science centers uh, around North America, really That's right. tomorrow. Yeah. So a lot of people are going to get a chance to see this, and I highly recommend that they do. Uh, but what was it like growing up with your dad? Obviously, you must have wanted to be an astronaut. Well, I did. I, I think. You and your brother. I think, but I, we both did. Uh, yeah. But I wanted to be a professional baseball player even more. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, these it's it's when you're a kid, things speak to you, and and uh, and for me uh, and all the kids in the neighborhood, really, most of our parents worked. At NASA, most of our parents were involved in the Apollo program. Because that's where and you lived. You lived that's in where that we lived. area. That's so, right. And, yeah. and, and the neighborhoods actually grew out of bringing all these people in to, you know, to work on this program. And what did the other kids, were they like, wow, your dad, man? No, the other kids, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they, they, they were the, working on it, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, so we were sort of all was. in it together, and that wasn't really a big deal. It was like, okay, well, let's go to the pool. You know, let's, let's, uh, let's get a game of baseball up or something like that. Yeah. Now, Mark, you were six years old when it happened, That's right. if I'm not mistaken. Now, what was it like f for your father after the fact? I mean, how comfortable was he with his place in history? Because we see, and we, you know, everyone's read the history books and seen the pictures there's a larger than life picture but he was your father what was that yeah well I think both my my mom and dad tried very hard for life after the flight to be the same as life before the flight they wanted us to be grounded they wanted us to have a a normal family you know with all its problems and you know good and bad and, and you did and we did you, you lived on a farm we lived on a farm and we went went to public schools and and uh, we just uh, we just tried to blend in with everybody else yeah. uh, so that that was their that was their goal and I think that was the right decision because it, it let me grow up in a in a respectful grounded way